now friends in our previous video we have discussed about the problem number one in that we have discussed the trial balance items and how we will post it the items now to uh, now in this particular video we will discuss the adjustments already discussed but we have to give the effects of the each and every uh, adjustments and what kind of effects are there that we will see in our this video now friends you know that the adjustment number one outstanding rain payable on 31st 3 2019 was rupees 500 the outstanding rain payable we have to show in our profit and loss account debit side and added outstanding outstanding rain payable they are provided rupees 500 same amount we have to consider here 500 the total will be 10,500 outstanding rent second effect we have to show balance sheet liability side balance sheet liability side so we will move further and here we have to write outstanding rent rupees 500 after recording first adjustment second adjustment outstanding salary payable rupees 1000 same things we have to do whatever we consider for rent purpose same things we have to consider for salary purpose also we will write here add outstanding value 1000 the total value 36,500 we will keep inner column because one more adjustment for salary here we have to write outstanding balance sheet liability side outstanding salaries amount 1000 after recording the second adjustment third adjustment salary paid in advance to the employee rupees 1500 advance salary we have to deduct from the salary it is a prepaid so we will write here less advance amount 1500 see friends total 36500 plus 1500 the so total in outer column for salary 38000 advance salary we have to show balance sheet asset side balance sheet asset side after recording this salary item this for the adjustment third is over now fourth interest on act interest accrued on investments accrued means it is generated it is created it is outstanding so interest outstanding 1000 it is a income and we have to give two effects balance sheet asset side and second effect property and loss account credit side add to interest so we will write here property and loss account credit side add accrued interest value rupees they are provided 1000 and outer column we have to put 6000 now accrued interest next effect we have to give 
balance sheet asset side we have to show separately accrued interest or interest accrued amount 1000 see friends adjustment number third and fourth effects are over now directors recommend 10% dividend to its shareholders so we already discussed share capital value was 50000 from this 5000 calls in arrears deducted rest of the capital 45000 on that we have to charge 10% means dividend is 4500 so 4500 dividend we have to show in our solution property and loss appropriation account debit side to tv debt and this dividend is called as a proposed dividend it is a proposed dividend or it is a current year dividend so we have to show separately and value is 4500 after recording this we have to write the one note we have to write the note here we have to write note and we have to put contingent liabilities liability that is dividend recommended by director 10% as per accounting standard 4 revised so these things you have to keep in mind how we will write our answer we have to show this second effect as a contingent liability and we have to write separately okay the so first effect profit and loss appropriation account proposed dividend current year dividend 4500 and next effect we have to put as a note contingent liability because it is recommended by the director after recording this next adjustment transfer rupees 500 to development fund 500 transfer to development fund we have to show in our profit and loss appropriation account debit side to develop main fund and we have to show fund rate rupees we have to show fund rate rupees as a development fund now this particular fund we we are not give the any kind of other effects because this particular fund is requirement of the cooperative society after recording this development fund next is depreciation charge on furniture 5% so depreciation on furniture so we have to deduct less depreciation 5% so 5% value 24000 in that we have to charge 5% it is 1200 1200 we have to record as a depreciation from 24000 we will deduct 1200 rest of the value 22800 as a asset side now furniture value depreciation we have to show 
capital loss account debit side to depreciation on furniture value one thousand two hundred. After recording the depreciation, next is closing stock on consumer goods is valued at seventy thousand. Closing stock we have to show trading account credit side by closing stock amount is seventy thousand. Second effect we have to give balance sheet asset side closing stock. Recording this, all the entries. Is there any entry, entry remain? Mm, if you see the adjustments, yes, eight number adjustment is remain. Provide rupees one hundred for education fund. So this education fund one hundred rupees we have to show. Lab decide we have to add it here. Add it is a provide means transfer rupees hundred to the education fund. Total amount of education fund is four thousand one hundred. And this contribution to the education fund is the expenses that we have to show profit and loss account. Debit side to contribution to education fund value rupees hundred. This I hope you understood what is going on, what we have discussed and what what we have studied. So last year dividend we have consider even the contingent liability also consider about the dividend current year dividend these things you have to keep in mind now we have to close these accounts first uh, s u m 10000 uh, 10 lakh 30000 plus 70000 total is 11 lakhs here also we have to put 11 lakh same total We have to write here eleven lakhs. Now debit side total we have to find out S U M total S U M debit side total we have to find out. So debit credit side total was eleven lakhs. Credit side total eight lakh seventy five thousand. Now we have to deduct up debit credit side total minus debit side total. The rest of the value two lakh twenty five thousand. It is uh, we can say that gross profit, gross profit, and it is transfer to where we have to transfer gross profit to profit and loss account. This gross profit we will transfer to. Profit and loss account. These things you have to keep in mind. Whenever it is transfer, it is now debit side. Whenever it is transfer, it is put in credit side of the profit and loss account. It is put in. Credit side of the profit and loss account. We have to write two lakh twenty five thousand. It is a gross profit by gross profit 
brought down gross profit brought down we recorded the gross profit value now friends we have to close our profit and loss account and we have to find out the balance sqm it is 2,31,250 credit side total we have to write 2,31,250 now we have to find out the debit side total we have to find out the debit side total it is 64 1550 the credit side total minus debit side total the rest of the value 166700 1,66,000 is there any amount remain This advance salary we have to deduct. So it is added that is totally wrong. So we have to do no minus. Now it is sixty-nine thousand seven hundred. One lakh sixty-nine thousand seven hundred. It is considered as a two net profit and it is transferred to where it is transferred profit and loss appropriation account it is transferred to profit and loss appropriation Once he, it is transferred to profit and loss account, uh, appropriation account, again same things we have to consider, it is show credit side of the profit and loss appropriation account, because it was debit side, whenever we will post it, it is recorded exactly opposite side. <coughs> Here we have to write by net profit current year value one lakh sixty nine thousand seven hundred. After recording this value, we have to close. We have to close profit and loss appropriation account. Now friends, one important things that I want to share with you, we have to write reserve fund, reserve fund, it is very important uh, we can say item that we have to show, reserve fund always calculated on current year net profit, it is always calculated on current year net profit. So, one lakh sixty-nine thousand seven hundred multiplied by twenty-five percent. So net profit is one lakh sixty-nine thousand seven hundred. On that we have to find out the reserve fund. It is twenty-five percent, and twenty-five percent we have to calculate. It is a 42,425 is a reserve fund on current year net profit on that we have to find out the 25% reserve fund and this particular reserve fund always we have to show profit and loss appropriation account these things you have to keep in mind every problem we have to find out the reserve fund 
and it is always 25% on current year net profit. Now we have to close this. We have total is one lakh ninety nine thousand seven hundred. Now debit side total. SUM. It is fifty one thousand nine twenty five. Now we have to deduct. Debit total from credit side total. The credit side total is heavy, so we have to deduct this total. find out credit side total minus debit side total so credit side total this minus debit side total this the so rest of the value 147775 it is a balance to balance transfer to Balance transfer to balance sheet. It is one lakh forty seven thousand seven seven five. One lakh forty seven thousand seven seven five. That we have to transfer to the balance sheet. So we will transfer this for the balance. Now where we will transfer this for the balance? It is transfer to liability side, and we have to write here profit and loss account, and we will transfer one lakh forty seven thousand seven seven five. After recording this profit and loss balance, is there any amount remain? Now you have to close. You have to close and find out the rest. You have to close and find out the. Tally total one lakh forty seven seven five plus seven 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 five plus forty two four twenty five. Now, friends, this this a uh, particular balance is available. Now you have to close the balance sheet. All effects are over. Now you have to close the balance sheet and find out the tally total. I hope you understood what is going on. We have recorded here calls in errors also. We have to deduct it. Four thousand forty five thousand is a value. Reserve fund is seven thousand five hundred. Development fund is two thousand five hundred. Then education fund is one thousand four hundred. Creditors ten thousand recorded. Commission payable two thousand recorded. Rent outstanding also five hundred and outstanding salary one thousand we recorded. 
then after that we have show this particular balances of the asset side also that we have discussed now you have to close and find out the balancing figure which will be available sometime what happened sometime they, uh, they they may be put as a profit and loss account balance they will not put as a appropriation account balance it is transfer but they will not put and they will put separately the reserve funds that we will discuss but first of all you have to find out the closing balance this is your homework today